Welcome back to another episode of Que Pasa. I'm joined here with Lauren Falco from Destination El Paso. As always, we are at Ghost Fox Toy Store and Gallery, as you can see. A relatively new spot in the heart of downtown El Paso. Uh, Lauren, tell us all about it. Yeah, so they've actually only been open six months, which is awesome to hear that people are investing in downtown. They live, they work, they raise their son in downtown. So it's a really cool you know, couple that owns this store. Um, they're both artists. This is a really cool spot. It has a ton of really adorable, if, if anything. Can, can we show some of them? Oh, I'm, yeah, no, there's so many cute ones. Let me see, we're at the we're at the Ninja Turtle area here. I like this guy, he's kind of cute, he's fun, he's bright, Aww. he's adorable. It was like the MUA. Oh, it has a TV. It has a TV. <laughs> that's, that's actually, yeah. that's great. <laughs> But I love, I love all of the little unique things you can find in here. They host other brands. They host really unique artists from around the city and around the country. But it's a really cool place, and I think it's really fun that they're in downtown El Paso. Mm -hmm. They're central, so that's really cool. All right, let's move from downtown now to Socorro. There's a really big leap, big leap, <laughs> about a 20, 30 minute drive, but yeah. worth it because there's a really cool event happening. Yeah, so they're actually doing a wine glass painting party at Wine Down, which we discovered when we were out there That's near the true. Dusty Tap, um, and hopefully we'll be on pretty soon. Um, but Wine Down's a cool little like wine specific bar in Socorro, um, right off kind of the main drag where, where you know everything's mm -hmm. popping up. Um, but that's happening on September 19th. It's $28 per person, includes all the materials. Go check that out, that'll be really fun. Interestingly enough, it's September, but it's time for Oktoberfest. Yes, it's back on Fort Bliss. We're getting the mood um, for Oktoberfest, and there's a, a great German population in El Paso that I think should come out and support this. You know, we, we went to Peter's before. Oh, great, great place. Food. But as these festivals come along, I mean, they're really fun, and they're really an interesting way to explore other culture, which we love. Um, Fort Bliss Oktoberfest is happening September 20th through the 22nd um, on base, so you will need a community pass to get in, uh, but it's $25 to enter, you get a commemorative glass with it. Of course, beer is not included. You have to buy the beer yourself. Um, oh, and well. you have to be 21 plus, of course, to, to buy that beer. Uh, but it should be really fun. And Oktoberfest has kind of become a staple on base. So I think it'll be really like a, it'll be a fun, mm -hmm. fun El Paso thing to do. It's very specifically El Paso to have Fort Bliss Oktoberfest. We have a 5K, 8K event. And one mile. And one mile. Okay, something for everyone. And the best thing about it is that it's giving back to our community. Tell us more about it. Sure. So September 22nd um, at Escondite Park, they're going to have a Changing Lives 915 walk run. Um, and that's benefiting the El Paso Children's Hospital, which we love. Also the EPPD if I can say that fast, EPPD, uh, canine unit, um, and it's it gives back, so uh, proceeds go towards mm -hmm. the, the uh, El Paso Children's Hospital, and it's gonna have food, vendors, craft stations, um, it's all family welcome, of course. Awesome, we're coming full circle here, so there's an event also happening at Ghost Fox mm -hmm. here in downtown, tell us uh, what are they gonna be doing? There's a really great event happening on November 1st, and there's gonna be a lead up to that over kind of like the Halloween Halloween time. Um, some really, really awesome, like people, like 60 plus, I think, artists are coming in. Wow. Um, so it should be really fun, and there's gonna be different prompts. So these artists are gonna be able to create stuff, and it's it's just gonna be a little more organic, a little more mm -hmm. unique to explore in El Paso, and especially in downtown El Paso. So come check that out again, November 1st. Go to their social media, Ghost Fox Toys, and it should be really, really fun to explore. I hope I hope we can go because I think it'll be really fun. That's right. We love Halloween too. We love Halloween. We love toys. I'm, I'm all in. It has it all. All right, <laughs> Lauren. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for watching us once again. If you need any extra information on the events, you can always go to visit elpaso.com, and we'll see you again next week.